Trying to get young students to learn about old ideas can be tough in our fast-paced world. One teacher at Morris By Elementary has taken steps to make it interesting. He's created an after-school history club through community education. And as CTN Steve Antis reports, the club is being credited with increasing student interest in the sometimes not-so-interesting subject. March 6 is the day that the Alamo siege ends. In a classroom full of fourth and fifth graders, Oliver Skirdal takes his lesson off the drawing board and brings it to life with the help of the history club. Keep marching. I see them. I can see the cavalry, the Mexican cavalry banners flying in the breeze. Skirdal emphasizes historical connections that are meaningful for his students. Interactive is very important. Lots of back and forth question and answer types of things. I tried to include some game activities that connect. They learned about the negotiations between the Mexican General Santa Ana and the Texian's leader, Colonel Travis. Despite being outnumbered and surrounded, Travis decides to make a last stand. Here's his answer. He fires a cannonball right at the soldados. So see if you can hit that red flag. The History Club has attracted the interest of a number of girls like Alana Mueller. It's really fun because then you yeah. learn more because you can act okay. it out and then you understand um, it more. The Mexican army pounded the fort with cannonballs. The siege, which lasted 13 days, took place 176 years ago at the Battle of the Alamo. Benjamin Hansen credits Mr. Skirdal for his own interest in history and what he's learned through the club. He's the reason why I like history now, and we, me and him have lots of connections. And when they say, oh, we really like that, can we do that again, uh, then I have some, something to go on. Remember the Alamo! Remember the Alamo! At next Tuesday's History Club meeting, they'll cover the second part of the Alamo story. Mr. Skirdal says he plans to continue the club as long as he can. Stephen Karen. A lot more interesting than uh, reading out of a textbook. Oh, he puts a lot of work into those props. And they have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thank you so much. Thanks.